Hello, mga bisaja. Good morning. This is once again your friend, ang puro nga bisaja ng taga Southern Leyte. This is Eric Aniga, and I would like to welcome you all to my channel, ang bisaja. Well, today is Tuesday, early morning of Tuesday. Wag tungod kaysa ju sa buntag diya naginom inom na pugo. But instead of drinking coffee, nagpalahi ko karong buntaga. <laughs> Because na ako'y stuck nga tea gikan sa Vietnam. No, I had friends before uh, coming from Vietnam and they brought me some tea. Og mao to nga wa man magamit so karon aho nagigamit ang maong tea. So mag tea sa lamang karon instead of coffee. Yes, today is Uh, February 23 Buntag sa Jo sa Adlaw nga Tuesday and of course we are very thankful and we praise and thank God nga he spared our province from the catastrophe no sa babangis nga bagjo nga auring which devastated some parts of uh, Surigao del Sur nagpasalamat ang dako tungod kay diri sa Southern Leyte igura ang makusog nga uwan nga dili pod kanunay no mubundak ang uwan and then later on muundang rapod in fact yesterday the governor of the province issued an executive order suspending all work in both private and public offices but later on ang maong executive order was lifted and another executive order was issued putting the province under suspension only until 12 o'clock noon and so we were made to report to office from 1 o'clock until 5 o'clock in the afternoon tungod kay maadyo naman ang panahon uh, yesterday morning no, when we woke up uh, nindot na kaadyo ang panahon Uh, the sun was shining no dai adlaw limpyo ang panganod limpyo ang kalangitan way panganod and so we are thanking god for the blessing that he showered unto us sparing our province from the typhoon so kusog gud ay ang epekto sa pagampo so that is why i am encouraging everyone Whenever there are storms and typhoon that would come your life, just offer it to God, pray for it, and then God will take care of the rest. By the way, if this is your first time to watch my video, kindly click the like button. And of course, you can also give your comments. I am thanking all those subscribers of mine who are also writing comments in the comment section. Thank you so much for your encouragement. Thank you so much for your appreciation. You are inspiring me to do more uh, videos that I would uh, upload in my channel so that I can also uh, inspire more people. I hope I am inspiring you. Okay, so thank you so much, and of course, share my video so that other people may also be able to watch my video, and also subscribe my channel, Frederick Aniga Ang Bisaja. By the way, yesterday morning, while there was a suspension of work, I was watching a movie in the television and I, I, I forgot the title of the movie. But I was just struck with one of the scenes uh, wherein the, the lead actress who was confined in a hospital because of a certain ailment No, she said that the treatment should make her live her life because in the story her life 
as a patient in the hospital was very restricted with the rules and regulations of the hospital. Her friend died and there she realized that for a long time or for so long a time her life revolved around treatment and she realized no this is not supposed to be the case I am treated in order for me to live I don't live to be treated I want to live my life with that line I also was able to remember a similar line that I was made to understand before which now I tend to forget that line is do you work to live or do you live to work this is a question that may sound simple but it has answer that can really be a basis for deep reflection about how we live our life this is because for many instances we forgot to live our lives or we forgot how we are supposed to live our lives because of our aspirations because of our dreams because of our desires and many others we forget to live so it is as if we are here in this world we are born in this world we have our life in order for us to work we focus our life in working and we forgot to live which is not supposed to be the case we work in order to live we have our work that is the source of our income the source of our livelihood and our work should capacitate us our work should make us capable to live a meaningful life that is why we should be able to put a clear line between work and life because there are instances and i guess it has become common that we don't have a delineation between work and life especially the scheme that we are observing today because of the pandemic that is work from home we are mixing now work and family that while you are in your family you are also working the thing there is yes we have work but we do not forget living we should enjoy our lives we should enjoy the company of our family members we should not forget living we should avoid focusing much our effort much of our time to work we have to remember that we have to live problems arise when we give emphasis on our work and we forget our family we give so much value to work and then we sacrifice our family we sacrifice our lives we prioritize our work and then we put aside our lives our family our friends so the thing there is we have to always to remember that work should be an instrument so that we can have a meaningful life yes of course we recognize that work is important that is why when we work we work with dedication we work with passion we work using our best capacity and capability because we know that our work is important so that we can have a meaningful life nevertheless we should be able to see the value of living 
don't forget to live because time is so fleeting time just passes by without us realizing it every moment of our life should be spent in living our lives to the fullest we should not become slave to our work let our work be our slaves because we are here in this world in order to live we are not born in this world in order to work God provided us the capacity and the capability to work so that we can have a meaningful life spent with our family members wives husbands and kids and your friends that is why in our government especially if you are working in the government you work from Monday to Friday and Saturday and Sunday must be spent with your family never and do not attempt to even use Saturday and Sunday for your work because you are given five days for that these two days Sunday and Saturday should be spent for a meaningful life do not wait that you will get old and only to realize that you spent much of your life the time of your life working and you forgot living at the end of the day you should be able to say that you have a well spent life enjoying your life together with the company of your friends and family members in not spending it with your work always remember that when you retire when you are gone the work continues whether you like it or not but the enjoyment of the companionship of your children of your family members will never come again so I hope that you have learned something from my sharing this morning I hope that you now have a proper perspective about work and life always remember that life and living is more important than working I am not saying that you should not work you work but always putting in your mind in your clear understanding that work is an instrument for us to have a meaningful life so enjoy living of course enjoy working do not forget to live well this has been your friend Eric Aniga thank you for keeping me company and of course I would like to remind you again to always keep yourselves safe from COVID-19 always remember the three things wearing of the face mask always when you get out of your houses then observe physical distancing and the third is washing of hands these three practices will help you be safe from COVID-19 Daghang salama sa inyong pagtanaw hinaot paunta nga sa sunod panahaw nga mga videos inyo kong ubanan kanunay and of course don't forget to share palihog please <laughs> You share my videos to your friends, no? So that they will also be uh, inspired by the things that I share and make them subscribe my channel. Sa tanan na mga bagong subscribers, thank you so much for believing in me. Thank you so much for uh, patronizing my videos. And I hope that uh, these videos will also help you reflect your personal lives. Daghang salamat sa pagtanaw.